Yo, what is going on guys, the Quasa here, and today guys, I'm bringing you another video. Now, in today's video guys, I'm going to be enhancing the brand new epic boss armor, Emperor Tux, part of the Winter Nightmare Collection. Now, as you can see guys, I did actually get the first armor for today, so what this today's video is going to be about guys is showing the evolutions of this armor. Now, I'm quickly going to start off with these lower armors, these basic armors, because it's good to get rid of these armors first because they do suck indeed and they're just not good to have in your inventory there we go that got the armor up to level three that wasn't too bad of an enhancement now we're gonna use these mystic armors as well guys now this is also some sort of a clear out for me as well because i don't like having this many armors at a time this means i can't craft any two stars or one stars for, to enhance my epic bosses with so this will slow my progress down, but by enhancing them into other armors, it will uh, make the process a little easier for me. So this is a pretty good video for me to make. Now, as you can see, guys, the armor sort of looks like a penguin. Um, sorry, that was my first initial thought of this uh, Winter Boss collection. Now, I can't wait for the 24th of December when the new Epic Boss drops, because that will be a father christmas but a an evil one i'm assuming what it looks like it's gonna be pretty badass i will be showing you guys that epic boss as well for the first 15 wins and then after that guys i'll be showing you the 43 wins and then hopefully getting the curseman shroud now after that guys i promised you a video on making a lineup for the four epic bosses now that's going to consist of well, obviously four of them now sorry guys for the lag my internet's been a little bitch today i'm not gonna lie to you uh, but yeah, from the four armors, because I'm pretty sure mostly everyone's going to have these. Now I'm going to narrow it down to, I'm just going to try to, if you give me a couple of days, guys, just to work out what's the best armor to use uh, in your lineup. Because obviously one of them will not be making it into your lineup. So wait for the new epic boss to drop and just let me have a look at the stats. And then after that, guys, I promise you I'll make you that video on the best lineup with four stars. Because, um... You know, I have to relate to people that don't have epics. I was at that stage in life on Knights and Dragons at one point, guys. I've not always had epic armors. It's just after you play for a while, you're guaranteed to get an epic, basically. If you don't, you just have bad luck. And you should just keep trying, because you'll eventually get armors in the game, guys. It's just... Depends on your luck. If you're lucky, you're lucky. Um, I personally have fused probably thousands of armors together and have got nothing from it. Sometimes I fuse maybe one armor or you know two armors together and boom I got an epic like it's just the luck in this game is pretty ridiculous if you saw my video on my channel quantum where I fused a uh, druidic plate mail and then five minutes later I fused mail some irons now you guys probably think I have insane luck the amount of times I have tried to fuse for mail some irons I've been trying since the day of release and when I fused it had been out for a year and a half around around that time so you know my luck isn't that insane but for that video it was just perfect you know druidic then maelstorm and cryptic in the chest that's pretty insane nah, that's why i titled it most insane video ever because it was pretty insane now as you can see guys we're coming up to the third evolution of this armor now tomorrow's video guys is going to be gov coverage sorry on the guild war which is going on right now uh, i would i'm going to quickly show you guys the start of our guild war right now I think it's come to the end of our first battle. We didn't really, uh, well, I didn't realise in Guild War today. I thought it was tomorrow. Um, so I sort of miss, messed out on three hours of our time. But we're sort of catching up slowly. I mean, we're nearly, uh, I don't even know where we are actually. But we got around 15 or 16k in one fight. If you guys would like to join my guild or whatever, just get in touch with me. And my line is in every single video I make. So all the descriptions, guys, it's always in there. Now guys, after we have had all these 4 star armors crafting, as you can see that is the armor there at level 35, full evolution. Now guys, after these boss armors are completed, I want you guys to uh, make some uh, fusions down in the comments down below. These are the armors I do have currently, now I don't know what the specific um, elements for the new epic boss is going to be, the 4th one. So these are my armors guys. Uh, I won't be fusing these armors, I'll be fusing, there we go, I don't want uh, to fuse two five stars, it's, it's just not worth it in my opinion anymore. 
Uh, so these are my armors guys, I want you guys to make me a fusion combination for when we get my Cursemans because all these armors will be going, not keeping any of them. So guys, let me know a fusion combination for these 5 or 6 armors, I will be doing it for you guys. Now I've noticed a lot of wind in them, I'm hoping the next epic boss isn't wind or it's just going to screw it up for us. But there we go guys, thanks guys for watching this video on the enhancement of Emperor's Vestments. Please rate, comment, subscribe and peace out guys. See you tomorrow's video for the Guildwalker Bridge.